If you look in different languages, uh, different cultures, different timelines throughout history, uh, you'll see my name. And yes, now one of the biggest names in sports. I think Kyrie Irving should retire because you should announce it. My mom gave me my name Kyrie for a reason. Like it's a special responsibility to carry the name Kyrie. You feel like the way Kyrie Irving has been labeled is a little bit misjudged because he's an egomaniac. Your reaction is this the best move for Kyrie? This is a special responsibility. It's a unique responsibility. Because when you start digging deep into all of it, it it uh it can be a lot, you know? It can be a lot. So always coming back home to Jersey, especially being away for a while, always feels like it's, it's needed for me. Uh, it's a recharge station. I go there to recharge my batteries, you know, get to see a, a lot of family and friends I don't get to see throughout the season uh, when I'm working. And ultimately, just building on, uh, you know, our, our core family, our tribe. Get out of here! Sit him down! Sit him down! We had second. No he say said, so. Yo, why did your man not throw it back to you? Why did he throw it to first? Why are you not making eye contact? I'm trying to figure out. You know, this is the most free time I've had uh, you know, since you know, I was 21 years old, 22 years old. For me to be able to go home and just build on relationships that I, I, I know I, I need to focus on. You know, and that's what Jersey represents. It's just hometown, um, but also just a lot of family and and reminiscing. From fifth grade all the way up to eighth grade, nobody in Essex County was touching me. Or my team, most important. Four time champs, all coached by my dad. Yeah. Right in this gym. Winning those four championships with my brothers in West Orange, I remember it for the rest of my life. Um, just because we have memories of, of putting in a lot of time in Roosevelt Middle School. My dad has set a standard with the travel basketball team in West Orange, New Jersey, um, and we all follow his lead. Uh, I was the coach's son, still am a coach's son. Um, if you know, you know what that means. My dad was extremely tough on me, um, you know, just to kind of break me down to build me up at times, I would say. It's all about keeping my right elbow tucked in, balance, stay square, simplify, okay? It's like having a nice golf swing. You want to be able to recreate it over and over again, right? It's teachable. It's a 50% chance whether or not this goes in. It's a 50% chance, but first things first, you got to shoot it. I've pretty much grown up around uh, the art of basketball uh, since I can remember. You know, my dad tells me stories of me being in hospitals or me being out on courts at different uh, pro-ams and, you know, people cheering me on uh, to continue to dribble. I'm about 18 months at that point. Uh, so, you know, if you could just imagine an 18 month year old just dribbling around with right hand and left hand and uh, my dad had put the ball in my crib. Uh, and then I think, you know, kind of Mother Earth took it from there. Charlie, you got right side, you got right side, Charlie. So it's a love, love relationship that I have with basketball because of how much it's afforded me, but I never uh, can forget where I came from. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. We made this video for you. Born child, Azoria Elizabeth Irving. Me, my dad, Kaka. She is the one. Uh, you know, I have my wife. I am in love with her, um, but it's nothing like seeing uh, you know, my daughter you know, just light up a room, light me up, and. Uh, Overall, just helped me grow uh, as a man, as a husband, as a father, most importantly. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's beautiful that I, I have the relationship I do now with her uh, because it's taking time, it's taking a lot of patience, it's taking a lot of sacrifice. Uh, you know, I spend more time with my teammates and uh, the staff of the team than I do with my family throughout the year. You know, I'm, I'm grateful, Marlene travels on the road at times and she'll bring the family to me or 
my daughter will come on the road and meet me and it'll be for two, three days. And, you know, just even that day or two, um, it's much needed, it's, it's necessary. It's, that's when basketball doesn't become the most important thing is when family is the priority. You know, that's, the, that's the sacrifice where people have to figure out whether or not that's worth it, you know.